Hello, my name is Chris, and today I'd like to talk about how you can use a proportional area chart to make your point. Imagine you're the inventory manager at Spherical Sports, a fictional brick and mortar franchise for retail sports. You lead a team of warehouse employees responsible for recording the inventory that is received from manufacturers and shipped out to Spherical Sports big box stores across the country. Recently, you've noticed that some of your stock has exceeded an acceptable level. To identify possible dead stock, you created a proportional area chart showing the products that have the greatest amount of excess stock in the warehouse. At the top of the diagram is the title. At the bottom is the source of the data. The size of the circles shows the amount of stock that Spherical Sports is currently carrying. The larger the circle, the more product there is in the warehouse. You also colored the circles showing the inventory turnover. The shade of blue represents the time that passes between Spherical Sports purchasing an item and selling it. Lighter shades of blue are items needing to be restocked frequently. Darker shades are items that sit on the shelf for extended periods of time. Now you're ready to write a three-part description and analysis of the current state of Spherical Sports inventory. In the beginning of your executive summary, you should explain the recent buildup of stock and the potential financial ramifications of this situation. For example, at the end of the second quarter, some of the stock in the warehouse has reached unacceptable levels resulting in a situation where excess inventory has become a cost rather than a source of income for spherical sports. Every day an item stays in inventory, its value decreases. The next step identifies the surplus stock in the warehouse. Currently, our warehouse has a surplus of footballs at 10,000 units, baseballs at 8,500 units, and soccer balls at 8,000 units. These products have a weak inventory turnover ratio compared to ping pong balls and squash balls. Now comes your call to action. What needs to be done at the warehouse and the retail stores to optimize Spherical Sports ability to turn surplus inventory into revenue? This year's unseasonably wet weather, which has delayed the start of many youth sports programs across the nation, has dampened sales of sporting goods. A return to warm and dry weather, typically experienced during the third quarter, should improve our inventory to purchase ratio as well as our gross margin return on investment. However, if demand remains low, the criteria for purchasing future stock will need to be redefined in order to avoid a warehouse full of dead inventory for sports that are out of season. Retailers may also want to consider cross-selling opportunities that combine surplus stock with other goods that are in demand. In summary, a proportional area chart is an effective way to present a large number of data points in a quick and simple manner. The shapes that you choose to use in your proportional area chart can also help you make your point more effectively. Considering the surplus of soccer balls at Spherical Sports, it might be a good time to purchase some new ones for the team I coach. Showing up to practice with some new balls might help us get a few more of them in the back of the net in our next game. But before I go, thanks for your time and I look forward to discussing another way to visualize data so that you can make your point.